team avishkar from iit madras that's working on a futuristic mode of transport called hyperloop that could travel at a speed of 1200 kilometers an hour in a vacuum tube has won three global recognitions three awards at an international competition at edinburgh and scotland and with me four members of the team avishka congratulations thank you very much for your time what would this award this recognition mean yeah so the competition at edinburgh uh, ensures uh, is a international event where people come and collaborate together getting a recognition there shows us that uh, we at iit madras at avishka hyperloop are not only the leaders in hyperloop technology in india but globally we are doing something which will be helping uh, hyperloop to come into re reality i know you are working at achieving a speed of 1200 kilometers we have the prototype ready now uh, give us a sense of how long would it take to travel from chennai to bengaluru uh, so one of the biggest aspects of why you must be using a hyperloop is its speed so uh, if you consider uh, short haul flights so uh, the hyperloop is supposed to uh, capture the market of short haul flights short haul flights take about say from chennai to bangalore take about uh, easily 2 to 3 hours if you consider the commute time from your home to the airport also but whereas hyperloops are supposed to reduce that 3 hour time to about 30 minutes so we have also published a similar case study uh, for the chennai to bangalore hyperloop corridor which uh, says that the uh, time to travel from chennai to bangalore will be about 30 minutes and the cost of the ticket is also very reasonable and affordable all right and already we have several high speed modes of transport you have high speed trains flights why do we need hyperloop in the first place uh so first thing that comes to my mind is about the energy so hyperloop being a carbon negative energy which means that uh, more than the energy which it consumes we can have solar panels panels on the tube which will bring us more energy than what it consumes so uh, the energy aspect wise it's quite feasible and scalable now you've been participating in this international competition for at least 5 6 years uh, still you're in the top 3 uh, what's the lesson learned from these experiences and uh, what next so i think uh, participating in these competitions for the last few years uh, one thing we've realized is most of our technologies are entirely home grown and entirely student developed uh, but what we can do is take a step further and uh, like outsource all of these immediate technologies to the companies outside in the industry and do collaborations with them and instead work on the real e research issues of hyperloop uh, such as thermal systems of the hyperloop or vacuum compatibility and other such bigger issues that have not been thought of yet um, additionally i think going for all these competitions for the last few years we have realized that we are actually quite capable to have one right here so that is something we've been working on for a bit now international competition right right in madras yes yes we we are looking forward to it Realistically speaking, when do you think India could have its own first hyperloop for passenger travel? So uh, the current plan is to have a prototype with a human in it in the next five years, and we'll be targeting a 10 kilometer stretch very soon. So probably by the end of this decade, 2030, we'll be having a 10 kilometer stretch, and you could expect a real hyperloop by let's say 2035 or 2040. In terms of infrastructure, what are you building now to make sure you're able to test it well? Right now, we are building a 400 meter test tube uh, at the new campus of IIT Madras. This facility will be available for people to come and test out their hyperloop technology, and further ensures that we are able to test the hyperloop pod which we have developed at a higher speeds. The team leader is a young lady. Not many girls opt for this, or is it all boys club? No, no. We have very much have girls in the team also. So about 15 percent of the team is made up of girls. Then we are making a new team also uh, with a special emphasis that we take in girls also. Thank you all very much for your time and team Abhishek from IIT Madras talking to us about the three global recognition model of Hyperloop 1 at Edinburgh in Scotland recently and the IIT Madras with Suresh Sam Daniel Finey TV